What's going on guys, Team Tech Gaming here, just doing a quick video on what I think you should upgrade first along with lower level town hall attack strategies. Um, as far as upgrading goes, I normally start with the walls as you can see, I mean I've just got to town hall 5 um, been trying to get all the walls to gold because that is the max level for my current town hall level. So obviously once I get to town hall 6 I'll start upgrading to the pink crystals. Um, I'd say normally after that I've sort of started to favour the wizard tower over the mortar just because it has a higher rate of fire and it's it doesn't have the inner area of effect where it can't it can't fire on enemy targets so yeah normally I'll go for the wizard tower then mortars and then I'd probably be pushed to go for my arch towers just because they do ground and air then probably air defence and then cannons I mean once all the defences are done I'll work on stuff like army camps storages I'm not really that fussed about things like the pumps and mines I mean I'll get around to them eventually but nah they're just they're not they're not that much of a priority for me as far as traps go obviously you can't do spring traps but you know, little bombs, they're good for taking out archers or goblins. Obviously you've got the air bombs. If they've got masses of minions, they're always excellent to use. Uh, your barracks, they'll probably come after I do army camps. Um, Any time I upgrade to a new town hall, first upgrade for elixir is probably the lab. It always helps to get that straight out of the way. Start researching troops, you know, stronger attacks, more loot, obviously. Um, and as for attacks, I mean, at the moment, because I'm lower level town hall, nothing but goblins all the time, pretty much. I mean, lower, you don't need to get loads of loot. You can just do loads of little attacks and just build up quite a bit of loot. I mean, as you can see, I just use giants really for a distraction while goblins just take out pumps, mines, things like that. I mean if we go what have we got? Wait, wait, let's go for that one. Let's speed up a bit. I mean I'll use goblins to break through initially. And as I said I'll use giants for a distraction. And just let the uh, goblins clean up the loot, pretty much. I mean, it's a pretty obvious strategy, loads of people use it. I will say, though, to be honest, apart from elixir collectors and gold mines, max everything. I mean, lower level clan castle, not really important until you get to about Town Hall 7. Because you you can't really put it in your inside your walls without sacrificing, say, a wizard tower and mortar outside. So, not really important until about Town Hall Seven. I haven't used you know clan castle troops maybe since about Town Hall Four, just as like a little little bit of help for bigger raids. But um, I mean, if you look into my clan now, give a big shout out to clan slayers quickly. Uh, I think we've got a couple of members here who have maxed their town halls before they move on to the next one. Uh, where is he? I think it's Moondog, is it? Yeah, as you can see, he's maxed for town hall 6. Or, well, pretty sure he is. I suppose his uh, air defence isn't. But as you can see, he's done his pumps, his mines, storages. Pretty sure he's done his wizard tower and mortars. Okay, he hasn't done that one. But the rest of it's still pretty good. I mean, he's maxed his walls. I always think walls are pretty good to max for your town hall. Definitely helps in defense for your level. I mean, not to pick out anyone individually, but we do have a couple of members that don't max. I mean, they're improving their bases, but they still need to max, so. I mean, as for wars go, we do wars. I 
I think we're going to do maybe one a week at the moment instead of doing three or four in a row it just gets a bit too hectic but yeah that's pretty much my basic instruction all for lower level town halls uh, if you like the video give it a like comment or subscribe and I'll see you in the next one thanks guys